I uh, this cadet is called sum of multiples, but we have to do well we have two arguments n and m, and what we basically have to do is to find the multiples of n, as you can see here, till we hit this cap, which is the m. Note n and m are all natural numbers, positive integers, and m is excluded from the multiples. Well, let's go. Let's start renaming the arguments here. N to number and m to cap. Make it more descriptive. And let's start with the exception to the rule. If this number is less than or equal than zero, or the cap is less than or equal to zero, we have to return invalid right away. The arguments should be natural numbers, positive numbers in other words. And then we can start finding the multiples of the number. Let's make a new variable, multiples is equal to zero. And while we get to that in a bit, because we have to use a while loop. So while the multiples are less than the cap, we can add up the number to the multiples every iteration. So multiples is equal to multiples plus number. In other words, plus equals, that's the same. Let's check our work here. Print the multiples should be two, four, six, and eight. The 10 should be excluded because that is greater than the cap. So if the multiples are greater or equal to the cap, we should exclude it. This returns true. So if this condition is met, we should break. Let's print the multiples again. 2, 4, 6, and 8. 8 and 6 is 14, plus 4 is 18, plus 2 is 20. And that is the expected output. So let's make a new variable, sum of multiples. And every iteration, we should add up the multiples. Let's return the sum of multiples here. Oh, well, we have to assign a value, of course. And that is 20. Well, that seems to work out. Let's take 4 and minus 7. It should return invalid, and it does. Well, let's test it out. Attempt. There we go, passed all the tests. Hope this has been useful, that you learned something from it. Well, thank you for watching, and hope to see you in another video. Ciao.